differently, I would have indicated to uh, the commission, would have written to the persons who are in the schedule as public officials who are required to file. Now, one word of caution uh, where that is concerned, because I've been seeking to verify that persons have in fact received the communique. And number two, I've wanted to ensure that persons who are on the list are actually supposed to be on the list, right? Um, it's, it's since come to my attention, based on my inquiries, that there may have been some persons who are supposed to be on the list who have not been on the list. And this is information I found out independently of the commission. Like I said, um, I'm hands on. So try to get other sources of information to verify what I have. And I've also found that there may be persons, one or two, who are on the list, who ought not to be on the list. And I think it's very important for me to, to verify, because I can only go by the information that I've been given, uh, verify that persons who are on the list are supposed, are supposed to be on the list, because I don't want any unnecessary litigation against the government as a result of a wrongful prosecution or something. I mean, like, while, while I'm excited, I tell you, I have, I, I, I can open my computer and show you, Chad is already drafted. Mm -hmm. I just have to fill in um, the information that, that, that I've asked to, to receive. And I've also um, asked the Attorney General to have appointed a special magistrate to deal um, with these particular matters. And he has kindly consented to make sure that that arrangement is put in place. Uh, that arrangement should hopefully be in place by the, the first of of this month, sorry, first of next month. That way, February. Yeah, first of February, right? Um, why a special magistrate? Why is that necessary? Why a special magistrate is necessary? I have to be, I think, I, I, I know why it's necessary, but I have to be, I, I, I can't disclose the reason at, at this particular point in time. I can't disclose the reason at this particular point in time. But all I'll say is, based on certain information received at the time, I thought in the fair and just adjudication of this matter, a special magistrate needs to be appointed. Okay. okay. You mentioned the persons who will be covered. Uh, they are part of the schedule. And I, I don't know if you have the schedule here, but could you give us a, 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 a off the top of your head, a rundown in terms of um, who would be covered? We already established that parliamentarians, of course, would be a part of that. But who else would be covered by the schedule that is included in the Integrity and Public Life Act? Okay. Well, I have some of them here. Representatives in the National Assembly, Senators in the National Assembly, Speaker in the National Assembly, Deputy Speaker, Representative in the Nevis Island Assembly, Senators in the Nevis Island Assembly, President of the Nevis Island Assembly, Clerk of the National Assembly. So those are parliamentary rules. Mm -hmm. Constitutional rules, members of Constituency Boundaries Commission, Supervisor of Elections, Elector Commissioners, sorry, Electoral Commissioners, the Prime Minister, the Leader of the Opposition, Ministers of Cabinet, Ministers of the ne Nevis Island Assembly, Attorney General, the Solicitor General, senior legal officers in the Attorney General's chambers, Director of Public Prosecutions, that's me, Directors, Deputy Directors of Public Prosecutions, Director of Audit, Public Service Commissioners, members of the Public Service Board of Appeal, Police Service Commissioners, Magistrates, Registrars of the High Court, Deputy Registrars of the High Court, Registrars of Land, Deputy Registrar of Land, Head of the Civil Service, Chief Personal Officer of the Civil Service, Financial Secretary, Permanent Secretaries of the Civil Service, Ombudsman, Information Commissioner, Assistant Secretaries at or above the level of grade K40, the Comptroller of Inland Revenue, the Head of the Central Purchasing Unit, 
the Commissioner of Police, the Deputy Commissioner of Police, Assistant Commissioner of Police, the Director of Works, the Head of the Citizenship by Investment Unit, the Accountant General, the Comptroller of Customs, the Deputy Controller of Customs, Ambassadors, High Commissioners, and in terms of statutory cooperations, we have chairpersons of statutory cooperations as well as deputy chairpersons, managing directors, chief executive officers, general managers, and then you have corporations in which the government has either controlling interest or they own the corporations. And we're talking about the chairpersons of those boards, the deputy chairpersons, managing directors, chief executive officers, and general managers. And in terms of statutory bodies, uh, which includes commissions, public authorities, or bodies of any description. I think ZIZ is one of those, if I'm not mistaken. Or, or ZIZ. ZIZ. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. yes. I, I was told particularly it's ZIZ, <laughs> yes. Chairpersons, deputy chairpersons, managing directors, chief executive officers, and general managers. A very robust list. <laughs> Quite. Yes. Okay. And so. Of course, those persons would have been notified, as you mentioned, in terms of their responsibility. But what do you think, sir? Um, it's taken them so long to everyone to want to comply. Because, as you mentioned, of course, this is something that is new. And there mm -hmm. are persons who, you know, when they don't understand specifically, there's mm -hmm. a delay sometimes. You mentioned the confidentiality aspect of it as well, to where some persons may be concerned. But the necessary measures are in place, as you would have called, in terms of the legislation, mm -hmm. to ensure that if if there are any breaches, um, those things will be handled by the legislation, of course. That there are things in place to protect persons. Right, and that's why I'm coming here to let people know that these things are in place. And I mean, I, I will take the necessary action if necessary. I think um, to answer one, one of your questions there as to why people are taking so long, I think people really think that nothing is going to happen at the end of this if there, there's a list of persons. And I'm sure there are probably persons out there thinking, oh, DPP is just talking, and so on and so forth. But really, I mean, I'm trying to be as fair as possible to make sure that opportunities have been made available for you to comply. Because the, the French speaks about um, the, the Section 30 offense, which they, 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 they charge on, without a reasonable excuse, or without a proper excuse, something. For not filing the um, the, de the declaration, mm -hmm. uh, you, you can't say one. I know they say ignorance of the law is no excuse. At the same time, but at the same time, um, maybe for some reason, some persons just may not have known. I know I was present in the commission where a particular person um, indicated, well, he, he he just he just didn't know that he was supposed to have filed, and he didn't um, realize until the com the press conference, right? So. Um, persons, we want to give them a fair opportunity. Even with the last, the last um, press conference, sorry, the last press release uh -huh. that I issued, well, the only press release that I've issued, uh, I said, I still, notwithstanding I, what I would have said last, I still want to give one last chance. I believe people think that nothing is going to happen. I think the real test of what I'm saying will be on the first everybody will be watching for on the 1st of February to see if you file. And I say, it don't matter if you're in the Nevis Island Assembly or if you're a member of parliament or if you are um, one of the names, one of the, the, the persons I want to call it, whether it be magistrate, whether it be registrar, whether it be member of statutory body, it don't matter, right? I've gone to what I think considerable links to give you an opportunity in which to file, right? Uh, like I said, I'm hands-on. I've gone into the ground to find out why is it people are not filing. The issue with respect to confidentiality, I say, okay, I will come here and talk about the issue of confidentiality. The issue of inconvenience, no, no, I addressed that in the press release. Don't say because it's inconvenient that you're not filing, right? So I've addressed those two things. I don't think there's any other, any other issue um, to be addressed. So we're just waiting. For the first, again, I'm verifying just to make sure. I'm hoping to have another meeting with the commission uh, with respect to the list, just making sure I have the right names on that list. So, uh, it's one thing to be excited, and yes, I'm a bit excited about filing, filing the charges, 
but again I, I, I believe in um, conciliation and encouragement mm -hmm. and so on before the big stick approach I really want to reserve that big stick approach for those who are defiant and d decide you know I don't care what you say we are not filing right those in particular and I just want to take the occasion to remind um, public officials that the next filing date is actually coming up quickly on the on the 30th of April um, of this year and thereafter it will be the 30th of April every year right so it's once per year after the 30th of April yes so and I want to mention in terms of the charges that you mentioned it, I think it's important for persons to know that there is no grandstanding by the office of the director of public prosecutions that there are you know penalties that are prescribed there are duties that have to be performed and you're just following the letter of the law right and it's not just following the letter of the law trying to do so in a fair way right i i would have mentioned in my press release too um well i didn't mention it like this but what well, the common man the common man let's say the, maybe the man who has stolen maybe a tin or two of sardines or macaroni in the store the police are ready to jump down his throat for um, charges of la with charges of last year bringing him before the court and his sentence or what have you but what about the laws which apply to public officials persons of integrity and so far as the discharge of public services is concerned right we want to make sure we have persons of the the best caliber the highest caliber performing those services in a fair just equitable way right so this is part and parcel of that type of enforcement and I think it is important do I like the idea of filing no not necessarily <laughs> but it's the law <laughs> it's inconvenient I see that there is a broader a broader purpose or greater purpose to be achieved by it and so um, uh, I'm going to enforce the law. Yeah, and certainly you won't win any friends, but you're not looking for friendships. You're doing your job. Well, the persons on the list that I just come to know as well, and I don't know, maybe they might feel that they won't um, end up being charged because they might know me or they might smile with me and so on. Well, we'll see what happens on February 1st. Mm -hmm. And it's important. You have the full blessing of the Attorney General's office. Well, whether I had his full blessing or not, whether I had his full blessing on that is a duty that, that, that I have, right? If, if there are members or persons who are aligned with his administration, I mean, I, I don't know, right, who are in there, so be it. Let the chips fall where they may, right? Like I said, people are probably thinking up to now, you know, I've been extending. Yeah, I know I've been extending. Um, the deadline, but again, like I said, I want to be fair, right? I put on there no, 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 no further extension. I mean, like, that's it. I just want to make sure persons have been given the opportunity. The first of February. Yeah. What are the penalties? February. What are the penalties for those who don't? Up to play? up to thirty thousand dollars, or three years imprisonment. Right? Again, I put in the press release. It's not my will that some somebody should perish or all should perish, or any should perish, um, by way of uh, prosecution. But um, I think if we push through uh, with this, St. Kitts and Nevis could be a beacon for the rest of the Caribbean in terms of its good governance initiatives um, for the Federation going forward. And for the region as well, too. yes, absolutely. Yeah, and for the region, maybe even the world, <laughs> right? As small as we are. And I say we because over here I'm Katisha. Thank you for joining us on KN Whoop. I am Alvarine Cable, affectionately known as Bright Eyes. Have a wonderful day.